Hey dear learners, so in last lecture, last few lectures, we are done with our first unit under this subject, advanced statistics. In today's lecture, we are going to start with the second unit under this subject, that is regression analysis. So, like earlier lectures as well, I have discussed, it's very important to know the theory of a particular subject to understand the base of it because theory is the foundation of any subject. Concepts are the foundation of any numerical problems. So, in this unit also, first of all, we will discuss the theory of regression analysis, different concepts which are related to the regression analysis and from next lectures, we will move towards the numerical problems. Okay, so let's start with the meaning of regression analysis. In general sense, what is the meaning of regress? When I talk about the regression, so in general sense, regression is the exact opposite of progression. What is the meaning of progression? Progression means moving forward. So what's going to be the meaning of regression? As it is the exact opposite word for the progression, so regression means moving backward or stepping backward. So, yes, in general sense, regression means moving backward. Now, when we talk about the statistics, so in statistical term, regression means the return to the mean value. So, here, in statistical term, when we talk about regression, so it refers to the return to the mean value, moving back towards the mean value. That is known as regression analysis, regression. So, when we talk about the regression, so concept of regression has been given by Sir Francis Galton in year 1877. Originally, he explained the concept of regression analysis with the height of fathers and height of their sons. He has uh, take, undertaken the studies of thousand fathers and their sons to derive this concept of regression analysis. So, he uh, there he has found out the conclusion that the, the there is always return to the mean value. There is always return of the uh, variables. There is always return of the things to, towards the mean value. Okay. So, uh, when we talk about the basic meaning of regression, so it's stepping backward or moving backward. I hope you guys are clear with the meaning of regression. Now, we are going to see the definition of regression. This definition has been given by Stockton and Clark. What does it say? It says, using the relationship between a known variable and unknown variable to estimate the unknown one is called regression analysis. So here in his definition, Stock, in their definition, Stockton and Clark are saying that regression analysis is one of the statistical tool which is used to measure the relationship which is used to measure the relationship between the two variables one variable is known another variable is unknown or and on the basis of known variable we try to find out or we try to estimate the value value of unknown variable and such uh, finding out such relationship predicting uh, the value of such unknown variable comes under the purview of regression analysis so here i have explained you the Definition of Stockton and Clark. Okay. So now in this definition as well we have seen there are two types of variable in regression analysis. Known variable and unknown variable. Right. So here now in lecture we are going to see the type of variable in regression analysis. So when we talk about the regression analysis so it contains or it includes two types of variable. First one is dependent variable and second one is independent variable. So, dependent. what is the meaning of dependent variable? When we talk about the meaning of the dependent variable, so it's one whose value is influenced by the other variable. So, dependent value uh, variable is the variable whose value is dependent on the other variable that is independent variable. And when we talk about the independent variable, so what is the meaning of independent variable? So independent variable is one whose, uh, which influences the value of other uh, variable. Okay. 
So dependent variable is one whose value depend upon the other variable. And independent variable is one which influences the value of the dependent variable. Variable. So when we talk about the independent variable, so independent variable is also known as regressor or predictor. Okay. So this dependent independent variable is also known as regressor, regressor or predictor. Okay. And when we talk about this dependent variable, so this dependent variable is also known as regressed or predicted. It's also known as regressed or predicted. Keep these terms in mind because it can be asked in MCQs as well. Okay, so we will try to understand this dependent variable and independent variable with the help of an example. Say, we are establishing the relationship between the price and demand. Okay, price and demand. And here I say that when the price of the commodity increases, the demand for the commodity goes down. And when the price of the commodity decreases, the demand for the commodity goes up. So here, what is the independent variable? Here, the price is independent variable. Why? Because due to change in price, the demand is changing. When the price is increasing, demand is decreasing. When the price is decreasing, demand is increasing. That is why this price is the independent variable over here. Because it is influencing the other variable that is demand. And what is the dependent variable over here? Demand is the dependent variable. Why? Because this demand is getting influenced due to change in price. Means the change in demand is based upon change in price. Okay? So, demand is the dependent variable over here because it is getting influenced due to change in another variable. I hope you guys are clear with the meaning of this dependent variable and independent variable. Okay. So, in regression analysis, there are two kinds of variable, dependent variable and independent variable. And these variables are used to, uh, are used to, uh, are used to obtain the Equa regression equation okay it helps to find out the values uh, it hand it helps to find out the value of another variable with the available value of one variable okay so now we are going to see the importance or the uses of regression analysis so first one over here is objective estimate so what is the meaning of objective estimate so objective estimate means here, there are two variables. One is known variable and another is unknown variable. So, with the help of known variable, we can estimate the value of another unknown variable. Now, how are we going to do it? So, we uh, generally establish the functional relationship between the two variables and convert it into the form of equation. And this equation helps us to estimate the value of unknown variable. That is why it is uh, it helps in objective estimate, which is one of the importance of regression analysis. Second one is cause and effect relationship. So, this regression analysis helps us to understand the cause and effect relationship. When we are studying the relationship between two variables, when we are studying the nature of relationship between two variables, so it helps us to understand which one is cause and which one is effect. Like in this example, we have seen that we were studying the relationship between the price and demand. So, with the help of regression analysis, we can say that price is the cause and demand is the effect. Because due to change in the price, the demand is getting changed. Okay. So, uh, regression analysis helps us to uh, helps us to formulate the, the cause and effect relationship between the different variables which are being undertaken, which are being considered for the study. Another one is future planning. See, this regression is very important tool for the businesses. Why? Because it helps to estimate so many variables and the estimation of all these variables helps us to make future planning. Like, 
the business is planning to uh, increase its advertisement expenditure in order to increase the sales in the market so this regression uh, this regression analysis can help the business to estimate what's going to be the impact of on sales uh, after increasing the advertisement expenditure like uh, if the business wants to increase in production increase its production okay so this regression analysis will help to estimate the effect of increasing production like sales will increase the income will increase the customer base will increase okay uh, more employees will be needed so all these things can be estimated with the help of this regression analysis okay so therefore as it helps in estimation so it helps in future planning as well the another one is study of multi variables so it's not necessary that under the regression analysis only two uh, only two variables or only two factors are studied there can be uh, many factors which can be uh, studied with the help of the regression analysis like when i'm talking about the demand so it is not impacted only by price there are many factors which is having its impact on demand like price of commodity then price of substitute goods then price of related goods the income of consumers so these are the different factors which are having its impact on demand so with the help of regression analysis we can also establish the relationship we can also understand the nature of relationship between the demand and all this uh, factors all this variable okay when the relationship is being studied uh, between the mo more than two variables so it's known as multi variables regression analysis okay and when the relationship is being uh, relationship is being studied under the two variables with the help of two variables then it's known as simple regression analysis so that is why regression analysis also helps in study of multi variables next one is uses in coefficient of correlation so uh, with the help of regression analysis we can also calculate the degree of correlation between the two variables we can also uh, get, we can also get to know to what extent the variables are related with each other okay so these are the different uses or the importance of the regression analysis in the practical world okay now we have discussed the regression analysis in previous lecture we have discussed the correlation analysis so thereby we find many things similar but there are uh, so many important points which makes this two things very different okay many times the student gets confused between the correlation analysis and the regression analysis but, but these two terms are different they are having different concepts so with this note we are going to study the points of differentiation between the regression analysis and the correlation analysis so let's start with the meaning when we talk about the meaning of the correlation analysis so it is the relationship between two or more variables okay and when we talk about the regression analysis so it means um stepping back or returning to the mean value okay so under the correlation analysis what we do we study the relationship between the two or more variables but in regression analysis what we do we move back we step backward and return to the mean value i hope you you guys are clear with this point the second point is cause and effect relationship so as i have explained while explaining importance in regression analysis we always uh, study the cause and effect relationship we always try to find out which one variable is cause and which one variable is effect and with the uh, with the assumption of this cause and effect we proceed further for the calculation but when we talk about the correlation analysis so there is no such requirement in calculating correlation analysis in calculating co coefficient of correlation there is no need to have cause and effect relationship there may be cause and effect relationship but the cause and effect relationship is not mandatory in co uh, correlation analysis but when we talk about the regression analysis so in regression analysis this cause and effect relationship is mandatory the third point over here is measurement of relationship so when we talk about the correlation analysis so correlation analysis measures the degree of association between the two variables like 
if we have been given x series and y series so in correlation analysis what we observe we observe the degree of correlation between this two variables degree of association between this two variables we try to find out up to what extent these variables are associated with each other but when we talk about the regression analysis so this regression analysis helps us to predict the value of one variable with the help of the another variable like if you are having price and demand and price is getting changed so with the help of regression analysis you can uh, you can study how much change is there in the demand due to this changed price okay so this way it helps to predict the value of one variable due to the change in another variable or with the change in another variable another one is nonsense correlation so there can be the nonsense correlation like you may uh, you may study the correlation between the you may study the correlation between the increase in sales of vehicles increase in sales of vehicles and increase in crops so the sales of vehicles and crops are two different things right there is no relationship between increase in sales of vehicle with the increase in crops but, but still you can find out the correlation between this or uh, two variables with the help of the correlation analysis so th this is nonsense correlation because it cannot be interpreted further it cannot give any kind of uh, sense it cannot make any kind of sense so there may be the nonsense correlation but when we are talking about the regression analysis so in regression analysis there is no such nonsense things there is no concept of nonsense regression it is uh, it is always having some sense it is always ha having some logic uh, which can be interpreted and which can be used for the further mathematical calculations okay the next point is mathematical treatment so when we talk about the mathematical treatment so when we talk about the correlation analysis so correlation analysis is not capable of further mathematical treatment okay but when we talk about the regression analysis so it is uh, capable of further mathematical treatment how can we say that it is capable of further mathematical treatment so once we get the regression equations once we get the line of regression so the line of regression or the regression equations can be used to predict the value of the another variable if we are having the value of one variable so we can use the uh, regression equation to find out the value of another variable that is why we say that regression is further capable of mathematical treatment but the correlation is not further capable of any mathematical treatment the last point of distinction between the correlation analysis and the regression analysis is degree of association okay so when we talk about the when we talk about the correlation analysis so it indicates the degree of association between two variables it helps us to understand up to what extent the two variables are related to each other with the help of coefficient of correlation we understand the degree of association but when we talk about the regression analysis so here we understand the association and in addition to that we can predict the value of one variable with the help of another available or the known variable okay so this way these are the points of differentiation between the correlation analysis and regression analysis in our next lecture we are going to study the line of regression or the regression equation okay and we will also start with the numerical problems so guys you just uh, watch the you, you just keep watching the youtube videos go through this lecture well so that you can understand the further concepts as well and stay home stay safe and always stay hungry for the knowledge thank you so much